What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. We are back in the kitchen for the first time in probably over a year. I mean, I've been in the kitchen, but like privately. But since it is one of my favorite times of the year, it's pumpkin season. So I figured that I was going to make these pumpkin pie bars anyway. So I might as well bring you guys along. This is a little bit different though, because I'm gonna be making them in the Brava oven. Now I have no idea if you can use this recipe as like a normal recipe in a real oven. I don't wanna say you can. I haven't tried it. I've actually never even tried it in the Brava, but that's what we're gonna do because basically this is how I cook. So the first thing we need to do is Prepare the crust. In order to do that, we need a large mixing bowl. Stir together flour, sugar, and salt. Cook before sneaking a taste. Who is eating flour that they needed to put that on the bag? Maddie. I, I don't even think Maddie would eat the flour. There's been a huge mistake. Well, it's fine. One and a half cup. This is gonna fit, that's the real question. Use a smaller cup to fill that one up. That's what I'm gonna do. Good enough. One fourth cup of granulated sugar. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. And a fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay, great, that was way more challenging than it should have been. Using your hands, cut butter into mixture. You wanna cut it once like this. Okay. All the way once like that. And then flip it. Once again, so you have four long Four long, okay. And then chop them into cubes. Okay. Oh, I can't believe it, it's actually butter. Sometimes, some cubes are bigger, some are, some are rectangles. We're gonna mix this up, because Tyler said to mix this up. Have you made a crust before? I've been watching food YouTube for two years. It's I mean, I'm glad, because I clearly don't. So now I wanna have my cubes spread out. Yeah, yeah, make sure they're separated, yeah. Gotta keep them separated. <laughs> this is a funny feeling. Like my hand strength isn't strong enough. So I think I'm getting arthritis from playing a lot of video games and holding the iPhone 12 Pro Max because my hands have been really hurting. I'm very impressed that you're making pie dough from scratch. Okay, I didn't read. I only read like that it was gonna be 10 minute active and like one hour cook off time. So I was like, oh, that's simple. Oh, Justine, help! I have arthritis from gaming and my phone's too big. Um, yeah, do you want to start the next process? Lightly spray or butter the pan. Line with parchment paper. Press mixture evenly into the bottom. Can I just dump it and then press it? Yeah, dump and press. Wait till the, you clean up the parchment paper. Clean Wait, it up? Scissors. Oh, like cut it. Oh, cut the corner, smart. Mm. Smart. This is Tyler's show now. Cooking with chiller. He really wants these pumpkin bars to turn out. <laughs> so do I. It's much better than what I would have done. You're gonna get the knuckles. They're getting the knuckles. Please don't mess it up. Select pumpkin pie bars on your touch screen. Pumpkin pie bars. Oh, it says 81 minutes. We're gonna be here till tomorrow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So we can actually, while that preheats, we can start prepping the filling. Fill, put your, oh. You don't even make the filling yet? Do you know how long it takes to make a crumbly crust? Half a cup of sugar, half cup. Fourth cup, you can do two of those. Math. Mm. Is this my sugar or your sugar? Your sugar. What, how much of that? Fourth cup packed, packed, packed. One and one half teaspoon. Mm, one and a half teaspoon. I'm gonna buy this. If you don't have it, you can use a blend of something else, but mm, no, we have it. Like nutmeg? I, hate, I don't like nutmeg. What do you think that is? I know. Do spices uh, expire? Okay. Okay, Justine, now we need a fourth teaspoon of salt. Oh my god, put it in, put it in! Slide the square pan onto the top shelf. Here you go. There's a lot of steps. Okay, separate bowl. Another bowl! Don't snort it. It's bad for you. Probably. Oh, it smells like the season! I know, it is. <laughs> One cup heavy cream. Oh, heavy cream. I brought that. I brought my own. Brought my own. So this is heavy. Was this one cream. cup? So, you, um, probably. Okay, so 32 servings of one tips. Tips. Why Alexa, how many tablespoons are one cup? One cup is 16 tablespoons. Well, guess what we have? 
How much milk? Do you think this would be nice like as a bath salt? Half cup of whole milk. I would think it would be a nice bath salt. That would burn. And then what are you doing? Eggs. Is this your vanilla or is this mine? Mine. We whisk them up in there? You put that in here. Oh. We whisk it all together. Oh. Okay, and then we are going to need, are you gonna whisk it good? Stop it. Okay, the pumpkin puree. Do you have a, 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 a your whisk is touching my whisk. Get it out! I'm trying to get my slime off the stick. Well, I, I, have the, I got the slime off the stick and then Pumpkin puree. Uh, okay, now we need to, in a separate bowl, okay, you're whisking, and then you pour it into the sugar mixture. Oh my god, this looks amazing. One can? Yeah, that's a big can. So is this one? This is probably... That's one can. That's one can. That other one's like four cans. Oh. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah! Maybe it's two by two. No, they count up. It starts by it starts on one, then two, and then three, and then so four. So we're sure this is one can. Yes. You should have got an automatic can opener from Best Buy. Okay, well. No, what the? F no, this is good. What here? Don't do that. You get hurt. Give it up. These might actually never get done. Why? Would you say that? Because if it's gonna be cooking all this time, and then we have to cool it. Well, we have other stuff to do. I'm gonna order dinner. Tyler says oh, I should whisk like this. Butter. It smells like should butter. Should whisk it? Did you put a? Uh, did we put any vanilla in? <gasps> Wait. No. Where was that supposed to go? It goes in here. I don't think I did. Yeah, you did it. I think we're. I think we're done for now. We just wait. We wait. We wait. I don't wanna wait. It's happening! It's happening! Oh my gosh! I have to transfer it to a wire rack. I don't have a wire rack. Oh wait, yes I do, because this isn't my house. Justine has a wire rack. She's all official and stuff. There's probably one already sitting out, she says. Pan. The crust has been taken out. It has cooled for 10 minutes. I'm gonna give this a little stir. The brava is preheating, and now I just do the pour. And then I put it back in, and then I take it out, and then it cools, and then I eat it. I can't believe I'm making this. We're getting out the air bubbles. It's time. Goodbye, I'll see you soon. Come out beautiful and tasty. And now we wait. It's done, 83 total minutes in the Brava. I think. Math is hard. It looks good to me. How will I know if the bar's already ready? I'm just gonna trust the process. So now what do I do? I need my phone. When the food is done, transfer square pan to a wire rack and cool for at least two hours. I'll see you soon. Well, not soon enough. It is completed. I'm very excited. Now it said to let it cool for two hours on the wire cooling rack. I stuck it in the freezer because I just don't think that, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's not too late to go back. I don't know what to do here. I think it might not be ready. All right, we're gonna take a corner piece because probably no one likes the corner pieces. It's a little gooey, but pumpkin pie is gooey, right? All right, here we go. The test of the pie that I didn't let sit long enough. Mmm, that's pretty good. The crunchy pie crust is lovely. It's really good. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I made this. I think it needs to be refrigerated definitely a little bit longer though. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've done a baking or cooking video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what other types of videos you wanna see and make sure you subscribe, because this is quality content. Bye-bye.